The California Healthy Youth Act went into effect January 2016 and it's basically mandated instruction. The law calls for comprehensive sexual health and HIV and AIDS prevention instruction that's required in seventh through 12th grade. The instruction is required one time in middle school and one time in high school. The purpose of the law is to help protect the sexual and reproductive health of students. It's also to help them develop healthy attitudes around growth development, human development, body image, gender, sexual orientation, marriage, family, relationships. And it's also to give them the skills they need to have healthy, safe, and positive relationships. Terrific, okay. Are schools required to teach comprehensive sexual health education and HIV programs? So the California Healthy Law requires instruction in 7th through 12th grade. Again, just one time in middle school, one time in high school. For K through 6, they may elect to provide comprehensive sexual health instruction for their elementary students. It's not a requirement, but it's definitely allowed. And should they choose to provide that instruction, they could, they could um, take some of the required instruction that is in seventh through 12th as they see is appropriate, but what, what they have to follow is the required criteria of the law. And that required criteria is ensures that the education that's provided is medically accurate, age appropriate, that it is inclusive of all races, gender, sexual orientation, that it is accessible for our English learners and our students with disability, it's free uh, of bias, it's free from religious doctrine, that it is including a healthy relationships component, that it is uh, encouraging kids to talk to trusted adults uh, about this topic as well. So there are other points that could definitely be reviewed for that required criteria piece, but really the goal here is to have high quality, inclusive of education that's provided K through 12, and that's the required criteria piece of the law. Great. Okay. What type of information is discussed in maturation health? So usually when districts elect to provide this instruction in elementary school around sexual or reproductive instruction, it's usually around puberty, maturation, uh, things that happen, changes in the body that we want our students to be aware of. Again, they don't have to teach this, but should they elect to teach it, we want to make sure that it covers the required criteria and that it's inclusive of all students. Nice. nice. That was a yeah? really nice stop. Um, okay. Um, does maturation health discuss gender, gender identity, gender expression, and sexual orientation? Because a lot of times when we're talking about puberty and we're talking about maturation and the changes that happen in the body, we are referencing gender. And that piece of the education needs to follow the required criteria of the California Healthy Youth Act. A piece of that required criteria does include being inclusive of uh, sharing information on gender, gender identity, gender expression, sexual orientation. And really the goal behind that is to make sure that our students, all students see themselves and their families in the instruction that they're getting and in the education that they're getting. And it creates a safe and inclusive environment for all so that they're learning about everything and everyone and not necessarily just themselves and what's appropriate for them. And can parents opt out of maturation health instruction? Parents can definitely opt out of maturation health uh, instruction. They could opt out of even the required instruction that is in seventh through 12th grade. Districts are supposed to provide that information for parents, give them all of the information regarding the instruction to come, and to give them an opportunity to take a look at that education that their students are gonna be receiving so that they could make their own judgment call based on their values and their views and what's appropriate for them and their family. Nice. Okay. Yeah, don't call me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, perfect. Okay. I think a couple 